as I began my journey here in Sri Lanka, I've now made my way to the Cultural Triangle. And this is a perfect place to really get an introduction into Sri Lanka, its history, the beauty that this country possesses. Right now I'm here early in the morning, there's no one here, and I pretty much have this place to myself. This is one of the things I can't say enough, is try to get here very early in the morning or late afternoon, so you're not getting depressed by the heat of the day, and you get to see the grandeur that is Sri Lanka. Another thing to consider when traveling to any of the ancient cities, these places are not just for tourists, they're also a place where the locals make their pilgrimages to pay their respect to their history and culture, and along the way seek out a little guidance of their past, present, and future. We're here at Palun Narua, and this was the second ancient capital of Sri Lanka. They lived here about 300 years before this city was abandoned. And the one thing I'm really starting to notice here in this cultural triangle of Sri Lanka is just the time and effort that went into building each of these ancient cities really is just incredible. Walking around these ancient cities, one of the things that always comes to mind to me, especially as a carpenter, is how did they build these things? And as you can see, literally, there's just cracks in between this, how they cut this. It's very much the same as in Cusco and other parts of the world where I've seen these ancient ruins. And it makes you stop and wonder, was there a common denominator amongst all of these ancient people for the technology that they had to actually build these ruins? Mm -hmm. 